Hey girl, hey, it's Nita. Welcome back to another vlog. Girl, it's been a minute. How you doing? How you being? How your mom and them? Everybody all right? <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. I've missed y'all so much and we have tons to catch up on. Um, but first, I'm going to start by catching y'all up on one of the most frequently asked questions that I've been getting, which is, Nita, where is the home decor updates? What's going on in the house? And girl, they have been no updates. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I purchased a new home. Well, it's been a year and two months ago to be exact. And when I first moved in, I did a pretty major renovation with the kitchen, um, fully decorated the living room, dining room, Jada's room. And all of that honestly just left me tired, wore out. And I was tired of spending money on this house between closing costs, getting in the house, renovating the house, decorating the house. I was done with the house. I wanted to spend my money in other ways and just enjoy living in my space. So that's exactly what I did. So I didn't have any home updates for a while, but now... Your girl is back in her bootleg interior designer era. <laughs> and I have been working on decorating my bedroom and getting my custom closet built out. So I'm excited to bring y'all along on that journey. So far, the only thing that I've done with my bedroom is to um, clear out my, it was the catch-all corner. Literally shopping bags, clothes, things, anything went in this corner, honey. Like when I moved in, I put stuff there and it stayed there for almost a year. I should be ashamed, but I wasn't. So <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you guys did see that update. If not, I'll pop up a picture or a video here of that corner. Um, outside of that, I did decide that I'm going to keep my current bedroom furniture. So there won't be any major upgrades to the furniture. We're just going to add to the room and stuff like that. Um, also, I did tell you guys I am going to get a custom closet built out. So today we did go ahead and kind of clean out the closet. I did my usual purge because I needed to take good measurements because I have a few appointments coming up to get renderings and mock-ups and prices for the custom closet. So I need you guys' help. If you've done a custom closet build out or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below what company you used. Um, and any, you know, um, Please let me know what company you use and any advice you can give me as I'm looking into that. So far, I have an appointment at the container store, Ikea, and another custom closet place. I think it's just called Dallas Custom Closets. So, so far, those are the places that I'm going. But if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm excited to bring y'all along on that journey. Also, one of the big, how could I, one of the biggest things that I needed, honey, was a new bed. A new bed. Baby, my mattress was hard as a rock. <laughs> I don't know what behooved me to get a bed that firm, but baby, my back was killing me. So when Titan Mattress reached out and offered to send your girl a new mattress, I said, absolutely sign me up. So it just came in today and we're gonna go ahead and swap it out. I'm so excited. <laughs> Titan is the plus size sleep solution built specifically for the big, tall, and strong, aka us plus size babes. <laughs> Titan mattresses thoughtfully pair layers of high quality supportive foam with heavy duty premium coils. This means we would get the extra lift and durability we need, ensuring that we get a good night's nice rest for years to come. Titan has mastered the art of blending comfort and support so you don't have to worry about choosing between the two. So Titan offers two different options, the Titan Plus, which is a more firm comfort level, and the Titan Plus Luxe, which is a more medium comfort level, and it's also great for those who have a partner that may not consider themselves plus size, so it's kind of like the middle of the road. My old mattress was way too firm, y'all. Way too firm and it was super uncomfortable. So I decided to go ahead and opt for the Titan Plus Lux along with the Ascension Ultra Adjustable Power Base. And let me tell y'all, I should have made this choice a lot sooner because I love it. So I've had my Titan mattress now for a little over two weeks and y'all, the sleep has been amazing. What I love most is that it is firm, but it's not too firm. I feel supported, I feel good, my back is not hurting, but it's not uncomfortable like I'm sleeping on a rock. <laughs> and plus, I love that I'm not getting hot at night like I was with my previous mattress. Now, with Titan mattresses, you do get a 120 night sleep trial, okay? Which, they not getting this mattress back from me, honey. I love it. <laughs> but if anything were to be an issue, the mattress also comes with a 10 year warranty. TitanMattress.com delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the U.S. They have their own factory in Arizona, so they're able to use premium quality materials at a reasonable price for us, which we love. Now, I also want to quickly highlight Jada's favorite feature of all, and the reason I can't get this girl out of my room anymore, and it is the Ascension Ultra Adjustable Power Base. From the zero gravity setting to the custom vibrating options, the remote to this power base is essentially hers at this point. Thanks so much again to Titan Mattress for sending this over just in time for Mother's Day so I can get some good sleep. So make sure you check out the Memorial Day sales all throughout the month of May. These are going to be some of the biggest sales of the year. Don't miss the chance to enhance your sleep quality and save a few coins. 
Today is a Friday. It is the Friday. It's Mother's Day weekend. I just pulled up to my lash appointment. I'm here like 45 minutes early. I, I typically do my appointment as early as I can because I just drop Jade off at school and I come over here on the days that I get a lash fill. So these are how the lashes are looking. Not too bad. This one could definitely use some help. I am often asked a lot about my lashes on Instagram. I will leave her handle here. I believe it's Bare Lash studio or bare lash lounge i don't know i will have her instagram handle here and then when i go inside i'll show you the spot it's really cute also because people ask me all these questions y'all can go to her website but she is located in richardson texas she's off of 75 and campbell if that helps so that's her location the prices vary depending on the type of lash style that you get what i would do is send a picture because i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't know what kind of lashes i get people always well what style do you have girl i don't know i give her a picture hey i like this and i let her do it and i i pay for it i don't know <laughs> and i always book my fields before i leave so i don't even go to the booking site so i don't know what my style of lash is called what I can do when I go in here, I'll ask her what these lashes are called. So if you want to book this style, you'll know what to ask for. But if all else fails, she's very sweet. Just send her a picture of what you want to say. Hey, I'm looking to book. I like this lash style. What is that considered? Because I booked my mom an appointment, y'all. And I was scrolling through the website. Like, Girl, I didn't know that there were like 10 different styles of lashes, volume and hybrid and wet sets and the natural, but the voluminous natural. Baby, I gotta give me some lashes. Anyway, let me stop rambling <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all when we go get our lashes done. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that cool? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Cross the line and we reach a point we can't be Rewind 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 peeps i don't know what footage i was able to get because it's hard to film and get my nails done but this is what i got i think it's so cute annie always does an amazing job um her instagram is nails by annie lee i will have it down below and somewhere on the screen as well and he's been doing my nails probably for the past two years year and a half i don't know she does a good job about to run to the house when well, i run but drive home go to the house my mom is meeting me for lunch i don't know where we want to go but i think she went to my house so because i saw somebody came through the door i'm assuming it's her i hope it's her because if not if not but when i saw the alert that somebody was at my house i assumed it was my mama because nobody else would know the code to get in the house so let's go home and see what my mama want to eat get a little lunch the only thing that i forgot to do i guess this is turned into a maintenance vlog and i don't necessarily feel like this is my mother's day gift i did say it's mother's day weekend right because i always get myself a mother's day gift to myself speaking of i did get a new bag i got myself a bag and i did say that was going to be my mother's day gift to myself but i feel like that's not enough i feel like i need something else so i kind of want to go to the scent room shout out to there were there was a young lady who dm'd me and told me that escapade gourmand was back in stock at the scent room but this was like a month or two ago i want to say it was like march or april um, it's never i don't like ordering fragrances online i don't know why especially i don't like ordering them online if i'm able to go in store and get it so of course the scent room is local it's in dallas so i kind of go to the scent room and pick that up and i need to get a restock of one of my favorite fragrances which is a uh, lira by casa Marotti. 
I think that's it. I'm completely out of it, y'all. I love that fragrance so much. When I got it, I wore that sucker out. That is the first fragrance that I have actually used the entire bottle first fragrance ever outside of a body mist and stuff so i want to get one of those i want to get escapade gourmand if they still have it although i wouldn't wear escapade in the summer i feel like it's more fall winter fragrance because it's very sweet i feel like in the summer it'll almost make you like start choking or something i could be wrong i don't know but i'm gonna get that and then i just kind of want to see what else they have but let me go ahead and head to the house call my mom and tell her on the way and see what she wants to eat and I'll check back in with y'all once we figure out exactly what we're doing, where we're going, and see where the day takes us. <laughs> okay. I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never needed fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just don't But it's so heavy and I'm feeling low I'm learning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would have issued a warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't, I know it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember how I used to do it That I was a member of confidence club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw, I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just don't look, but sadly I've grown And I know I'm still that girl, but I don't know how to show it Like she knew, like she knew, she knew, she knew Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Uh, hey, papa. Hey, papa. No. Good evening, good evening, good evening. We are home and ready for bed. Well, girl, it is 8.45. Okay, let's be very clear. <laughs> I'm not necessarily ready for bed, but I'm ready to like relax, watch some TV and stuff like that. But I want to show you guys what I got for myself for Mother's Day. I hope that you guys you're a single mother i pray that you treated yourself with something gifted yourself some time i hope you got some time to yourself and of course all the moms i can only speak as a single mom I, when you don't have someone to do something for you i pray that you did something for yourself especially when you have younger kids my daughter is six so she can't really do anything for me sam even though she tries my baby i love her uh, i don't know if i told y'all she is going to speak in with her grandparents out of town so mama got a break <laughs> So I went and got myself some things for Mother's Day and got my mom some more stuff for Mother's Day, even though she don't need nothing. I'm always buying my mom or something. But, in, but anyway, let's get into it. So I did get myself a bag. Now, I didn't get this today. I got this earlier. Was it last? 
I think it was last week. I got um, one of my best friends is having a boy. Shout out to Key. And um, I got her a, it's not a diaper bag. It's a tote, but I think it can double as a diaper bag. Tori Birch has this really cute sage tote. It's beautiful. And I ended up getting her that for a diaper bag, even though it's not. She's having a boy, but my friend is very, very girly. So I thought it would be dope, cute as a diaper bag. And she can actually wear it as a bag. I thought it would be really multifunctional. So anyway, I was in there for her and I saw this bag and I fell in love. And so I didn't get it at the time. I was like, you're not in here for you. Get what you're getting for her. And I went back and got this bag for myself for my Mother's Day gift. So I love it so much. And I got I, I got this, well, I love it in general. It is a uh, genuine leather. It does come with a little crossbody strap. I'm more than likely gonna be taking this off and doing just like, y'all know I love a good old chain type strap. But it, it comes with this type of strap but I'll be doing that. But I'll probably carry it at the top handle more than anything. I love this bag so much. They do have a larger version that comes with a gold strap. And then they have one that's a little bit smaller than this that doesn't have a top handle. It has the gold strap as well. But I got this. It reminds me of this Chanel bag that I love and desire, but I'm not trying to pay Chanel prices. And I can't really find it pre-loved. And I don't know if I want a white Chanel bag. The one Chanel bag that I own is like leather and fabric and I got it pre-loved and I like it, but I don't regret purchasing the bag. But now that I have a Chanel bag, I don't think I have to have another one if that makes any sense. Anyway, I say all that to say this gave me my Chanel fix because it has the essence. It has that style, but it was a much better price point and I love Tory Burch. So got this. Also, I got a pair of shoes. I was going, I went to get, my mom wanted these sandals that look like a, a pair of heels that I have. My mama can't really wear heels. So I got her some flats and then I got me these flats. I'll say I never share flats. I never wear flats. I do. <laughs> but I got these. They're very comfortable. I thought they were really cute. I typically, a girl, I don't really like thongs in between my toes. My daughter is the same way. She would not wear thong sandals at all. She hates it. But I thought these were cute. They were pretty comfortable. So we'll see. I got my receipt because I'm like, if you want to wear these within the next week or two, they are going back. So I got that. And then I went to the same room. So I went to the same room. I told you guys I wanted to finally get the Escapade Gourmand fragrance, right? Of course they're sold out. So she put me on the wait list and she was like, girl, I will call you as soon as it's here. I will set it aside for you. And I wasn't really tripping because to me, Escapade Gourmand is not a fragrance that you want to wear in Texas heat. It's just too much for the heat. I feel like it would choke you out. It's not that type of fragrance. So what I did get was, I think I told y'all I was going to get another Lyra. This is one of my favorite fragrances. I got the small version. I purchased that for my birthday in October and I, I ran out of that completely, I wanna say in probably February of this year. So I did go ahead and get the big bottle this time because I know that I love it. I know that I'll wear it and I had like $50 off. So I went ahead and got the big daddy. That's how it comes. I'm not gonna worry myself trying to take it. Who is texting me? Sorry. So, picked up Casa Marati. Like I said, this is a re-up. I know I love this fragrance. It's worth every penny to me because I love it. So, there's that. So, the new fragrance that I got, this is Narcosia, Narcos Oasis. Now, y'all know I'm not a fragrance girl like that. I just like what I like. And I feel like that about everything. Fashion, beauty, whatever. I don't consider myself an expert in anything. I'm definitely not an expert. I'm not an expert in anything outside of hair because I was a professional hairstylist for 10 years and I was a kitchen titian since seventh grade. <laughs> so I, I, I'm a professional with that. Outside of that, I, girl, I just like what I like. I know what I know and I do what I do. <laughs> and I share it with y'all. Girl, I'm trying to... So it, it's like, I know they give you this packaging because you pay all this money for these fragrances, but baby, do you want us to get into it or not? All right, so it has tape on the other side? No, it's like a book. Girl, if you don't open, my God. It shouldn't be this hard to open this box. It's the ghetto, it's giving ghetto. Let me not say that. The last time I said something was ghetto, people got offended. I'm not, anyway. This is the bottle, it's absolutely beautiful. It smells so good. So some fragrances that would be nice that I love and enjoy and would gravitate to in these hot summer months. Texas, it gets super hot, it's been 90 degrees and it's just May, we get into the triple digits easily. So I wanted something that would be nice in the hot temperatures. One of my favorite fragrances right now is the Forever Move fragrance, Hard to Get. It's the, the yellow one. 
And I didn't know that I would like it like that because of the lemon. I'm not really a fresh citrus type of girl, but I love that fragrance. However, it does not last long. So I was like, I want something with the essence of that, but I need it to last long. And they was like, well, girl, we don't have nothing like that. But this fragrance is, it's very sweet. And it is, uh, okay. This fragrance is very sweet and it does, I think she said it has orange notes in it or something. Y'all, I'm not that girl who knows notes. What I can tell you is that it smells good. So I would just say to try this out, see if you can get a sample because this fragrance was very expensive. So I personally would not blind buy a fragrance at this price. I would want to get a sample and make sure that I like it and wear it and all of the things. I would say that about both of these. Um, I know for sure with Lyra, if you're a brown sugar babe oil girl, they said that the Moolah brown, brown sugar babe fragrance oil um, is a dupe of this. I do have Moolah and I will say it is the essence of this. So if you like Moolah, the Brown Sugar Babe fragrance oil, you will like this. Um, I don't know anything that smells like this to say. All I can do is say, girl, look up the notes and see if you think you'll like it or see if you can get your hands on a, see if you can get your hands on a, a tester or a sample and go from there because I, I, I'm not, I'm not even finna just, begin to describe notes and I don't, girl, I don't know all that. And then she gave me a ton of samples. There was another uh, fragrance that I loved by that same, what, what brand is this, Nar Narcotica? It was another fragrance I liked by this brand. I think it was called, it was this one. It smells so good. And the only reason I didn't get it is because again, these fragrances are really pricey and my tab was already high between Lyra that I knew I wanted and then the new one. And it's called Happy Dust. Y'all, this smells so good. This is a vanilla fragrance. If you're a vanilla girl, you will love this. I do eventually want to get a full-size bottle, but I did get a sample to make sure I like it. And a bunch of other samples of things that I did enjoy. Something else that I enjoyed, but I wasn't, I was like, mm, I don't know. Because after a while, I felt like it was giving potpourri on me. This one by Roja, Roja, it's called Elysium. This is what, hold on, let me show y'all. The bottle is beautiful. It's this this fragrance. So um, this smelled amazing, but like I said, I liked it initially, but as I continued to wear it and stuff like that, and I just kept coming back to it, it started to give me potpourri. And not that it's bad, but it was, I was, I think I would want this in my house versus on my body. And I feel the same way about Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I, I love that fragrance, but I like it more as a home fragrance. I wouldn't buy it to put on my body. So I don't know. So I was like, girl, give me a sample. Let me see how I feel about that. So that's what I got from the scent room. I was very excited about that because I wanted some new fragrances for the spring. Oh, another fragrance that I've been loving, and I'm gonna get off the subject of fragrances, is um, Humes de Marley. It's called Balea. It's in the clear bottle. It smells amazing. I do not like D Delina, and I don't like Delina Exclusive. Those are the very popular ones that everybody talks about, how pretty they are and all of that. I don't like them at all. I'm not a big floral girl, so yeah, I don't enjoy them at all. <laughs> but um, I actually smelled Balea on somebody, and I asked them what they were wearing. They said it's what it was, so I was uh, Neiman's. What was I in there for? I think I was actually just walking through there to get somewhere else, and I was like, oh, let me try it. I fell in love. I bought it on the spot. I was like, this is amazing. And I kept my receipts. I could take it back because that is that's another one that's not cheap. But I would take something back if I if I experience it and I'm like, it's not giving what it needs to give for this price point, I will return with no shame. Here you go. I don't like it. I did that with a fragrance from um, oh gosh. They have these beautiful intricate bottles. Haley is one of their top fragrances. I can't think of the name. But matter of fact, I think it was Haley that I ended up returning. What fragrance house is that? I don't know, but them fragrances are two, three hundred dollars, and I, I got it. Casa Marati, that's what it is. Casa Marati by I can't remember the. No, that's Casa Marati. It's called. Girl, it's something. They have beautiful bottles. I'll pop it across the screen because I'll think of it. But um, anyway, I bought that fragrance. I went home. I after maybe a week, I took it right on back. I, I, I said, no, nope, it's not giving what I needed to give for this price point. So <laughs> I took it right on back. But anyway, last fragrance that I picked up was the Nest Dill Orange. And I enjoy Nest fragrances, the fragrance oils. I have and love Nest Turkish Rose. That is one of the prettiest fragrances that I feel like I have. And that gives me, I wear that a lot in the spring and summer. And that was like my go-to, so I needed something else. But anyway, I got this one because I feel like it will layer great with the, um, the narco whatever that I have. And I feel like um, when I was at the scent room, I was talking to the lady about Lyra because she was the one that convinced me to get it. Well, she was the one who told me she liked it based on what I 
told her the fragrances that I like, she was like, I would like Lyra. And she was like, well, what would help you to wear Lyra in the spring and summer is to pair it with this. And I was like, oh, let me try it. So I actually do like this. I guess I'm learning that I like orange and lemon incense. Again, I never would have thought that I would like hard to get the lemon in there, but that fragrance reminds me of like lemon pound cake. And I did like that lemon. When I thought of lemon, I thought of like cleaning products in your house, like that fresh scent. I was like, I don't know if I want to smell like lemon. Again, that's another scent that I thought I wanted in my house. But ever they did that at Forever Moves, kudos to them. They did an amazing job. I just wish that it lasted longer. But I love the fragrance and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. Like, it just unfortunately doesn't last long. So I hopefully I can find something or maybe they'll come out with something else. Anyway, so I did get this one. It smells great if you like orange. It's good. So I like this. So I added this to my nest fragrance oil collection and then i just got a setting or i needed another setting spray so one size and that's it that's enough i don't know if i even showed y'all my nails these are the nails i got them shorter this time because i felt like they were just too long so those are the nails lashes and then tomorrow i am going to get a pedicure and that will be it so this can turn into pretty much a maintenance vlog a shopping vlog all the things but it's mother's day weekend so it's to treat yourself vlog. <laughs> but um all right y'all, here's our OOTD. This dress I got from Banana Republic uh over a year ago. I actually wore I want to say it was this exact outfit to the closing um when I bought my house last year. So repeat outfit. So yeah, I got this dress from Banana Republic over a year ago. Louis bag. These shoes um are from Steve Madden. Uh oh. I told y'all I'm trying to figure this thing out. The shoes are from Steve Madden. I have had these for at least three or four years. They're very comfortable. Um, just an easy nude-ish heel. And then I put on these earrings that I love so much. I got these from Ashley Stewart in store um, a while ago. I put on that little ring. It has Jada's name and her birthstone on it. I got it from a company called Mint and Lily. Um, I need to get... I said I was going to get some more little custom pieces from there and this is the face so it doesn't look so ashy here um it looks how it looks in person at least on the monitor um oh i didn't tell y'all fragrance i am wearing one of my favorite body oils from brown sugar bag this is caked up you guys see how much is left in there not much at all <laughs> and then i am wearing one of my favorite fragrances although it doesn't last long the forever mood hard to get this smells amazing um but yeah this is gonna wear off but the brown sugar babe body oils last a long time so yeah let's go ahead and get out of here and go have dinner with the fam Oh, <laughs> 